I want to start by telling you a story about Susie. Susie has just finished her shift at a local charity, where she regularly volunteers, feeding meals to the homeless. On her way home, she comes across a wallet laying on the ground with a $50 note inside. So, what happens next? Will Susie pocket the cash, or will she be honest and leave it there? Now, it's tempting to believe that because Susie seems to be a good person, she wouldn't dream of keeping the money. However, research suggests that she may actually be more likely than most to keep it, using her previous selfless behavior of volunteering as an excuse to be selfish, selfish now. This is an example of an effect known as moral self-licensing or moral balancing, where people use their previous moral behavior to justify or license their future immoral behavior. This essentially means that immoral acts can be performed as long as they are appropriately balanced out by moral ones. Now, this has pretty dicey implications when we consider that we're all counting on others to act morally. From things as simple as being honest in business transactions or treating minority groups fairly, all the way up to the people who have the power to make decisions about global issues like climate change or international conflict. We want to be able to trust that others in our community are going to do the right thing consistently and not act out of self-interest just because they feel that they deserve it. But unfortunately, just knowing about this effect doesn't help us much in preventing it. In fact, the research in adults has turned up pretty mixed findings and revealed that this effect can be strengthened or weakened by any number of factors. Put simply, we don't understand this effect well yet. That's why my research aims to further understand this effect by studying its emergence in children. I'm trying to understand at what age children begin to display the moral licensing effect in two different ways. The first is in their own behavior. I put children in a situation where a puppet needs their help and change it so the child will either help or not help. And I then see whether there's a difference in how much these two groups of children will cheat on a second game. Essentially, the children who helped recently view this as an excuse to cheat more. I also study the licensing effect in children's judgments of other people to see at what age they start to take someone's previous moral behavior into account when judging their current behavior. Understanding at what age this effect emerges will allow us to investigate what other skills children are developing at this time. This will give us some insight into what could be driving this behavior and help us understand the mixed results in adults. Hopefully, one day this will allow us to develop strategies that encourage people to do the right thing consistently, and not just when they feel that their moral balance is slipping. <laughs>